it's hard for me to fully support feminism. What a woman needs to be successful is looks. Why are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just wait. Okay, I'm ready now. Hey guys. Today, we're going to be talking about some unpopular opinions that should very much be popular. I have written down on my iPad. I'm just going to be reading off of it and sharing my opinion. In this video, I'm going to be covering a lot of issues. Like, so if you want to look, feel free to watch. <laughs> Number one, spider lashes. I don't even really have a lot to say about this, but it's just that when I look on Instagram and I see like those reels that go viral, it's like your lashes are really bad. Like those humongous filled lashes that just come at you like bow. I'm talking about these ones, like these spider humongous lashes. Why do you have that on your face? Number two, there's traps on your story. I mean, I I see it every day. You guys are still doing your bitties. It's not cute. If you post a cute pic of yourself, that's good, that's fine. But if it's a literal thirst trap, that's corny, that's dead, that's no, disgusting. Number three, cursing in every single sentence. If you cannot go more than 30 seconds without saying 10 curse words, I'm sorry, that's corny. That's corny to me, I mean. I see it a lot in like middle schoolers because you know you guys think you're cool and you guys think you know it's time that it's time to show you guys that you're big dogs but once you reach high school that's mad corny woke people i cannot stand woke people i cannot be friends with woke people if most of our conversations have to deal about world issues and all that type of stuff no I don't care. I care, obviously, like I really do care, but I don't want that to be the main premise of our friendship. Like there are just some people that feel the need to bring activism into every single conversation that they have with somebody. And I'm just not that type of person. We really won't be friends if you're that type of person, but you can keep watching. I'm not saying that they're bad people. I'm just saying they're not the people for me. <laughs> I can't even say that one. That one is reserved for the people I know in real life because I would be in some mix up. Number five, this is gonna sound like some stupid Gen Zer that wishes they lived in the 1960s, but I hate phones. Everyone's always on them. They never allow you to just live in the freaking moment. Like when you're taking like long road trips, I remember when I was young, my siblings and I used to play games like ABC games, but now we're just always on our phones. We never ever play games anymore. And I just like the overall look of cameras better it helped a lot don't get me wrong like phones like but there's also like the magic of some stuff that it took away making fun of ugly people is so weird that's so like why why are you making fun of someone over something that they cannot control that's weird to me that is so weird to me if you see an ugly person and you make fun of them for their looks what are you doing in life that could have very much been you they're just naturally like that and you think that's something to bully them over. If you're an animal, ha, what are you doing? Number seven, you guys defend celebrities way too much. I'm talking like everything Nikki does, everything Taylor Swift does, y'all defend them like they were your mama's grandmother. I mean, what's going on? I'm gonna use this as an example. The thing about Taylor Swift, okay? The media made her headlines such a huge deal. In the early 20s, she was just dating. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. She's just publicly dating celebrities. Oh well. And then she got into a relationship with that Joe guy. And then she broke up with that Joe guy. Right after she broke up with that Joe guy, she went on to dating Matt Huey. Not even, not even a month after. Like the wound was still fresh. She was popped up in January with Joe. In May, she had Matt on her hand. I'm not understanding. And her fans were just like, she's a single woman, she's a single woman. Oh, uh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I just don't like stands. Stands, stand behavior is just number eight. This one's gonna be really short. Ice Spice is not even that bad. She's not a bad person. Y'all hate on her for no reason. Y'all hate on her just because she's pretty. But y'all still bop on her music every day. But you go back to hate. You're just giving her money. Number nine. Renting Lamborghinis for prom is so stupid. Oh my gosh. Prom, Lamborghinis, helicopters. What in the world? This is gonna sound really bad. This is why I respect white people when it comes to prom. They know how to buy a simple $100 dress, post up with the sign that, that their mom made them. And then boom, c'est parti. With black people, we got a rent Lamborghinis, get $600 custom made dresses, have a whole like freaking paparazzi prom send off. Let me tell you how my prom went. 
bought a dress from online, took pictures outside, went to my friend's house, I took pictures with her, and then we went to prom. Simple like that. And I still had a good time. Ah, okay. This one's gonna be a little bit controversial. It's hard for me to fully support feminism. I believe in women's rights so hard. I am a feminist, but it's hard for me to support the feminism movement because it caters to white women. It doesn't really cater to women of color. It's like, if you're not fighting for my rights, why should I be fighting for yours, you know? And I don't like body hair. And that's not a thing. Like, I don't like body hair on women. I just don't like body hair on anybody, on me and one person. If you are at the store and you reach for the shop towels and I can see a bush under your arm, that's nasty. I don't care if you're a man or a woman, that's nasty. Number 14, you guys claim to hate people, but yet you're the same one making them famous. Like I said before with Ice Spice, she gets so much hate, but yet y'all stay following her and liking her pictures. And literally so many of her songs go viral, but yet y'all claim to really, really hate her. Same thing with the Kardashians. You guys claim to hate the Kardashians, but yet you're the one still giving them the platform. Your hate is, is making them only reach the top, 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 top. So if you hate them, stop following them. Uh, next point is about YouTube. YouTube is slowly becoming an app made for incels, and I'll tell you why. If you go on YouTube Shorts, right, and you keep scrolling, 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 and you go to the comments, you will see what type of people are commenting. Let's say it's a video of a girl at the gym and she's squatting, and her back is facing the camera, so you can see her back and her butt. If she's squatting, when you go to the comments, it'll be like, oh, and women say that they're objectified, yet they do this. This. Boy, she's squatting. What does that have to do with you? The comments are just filled of incels. Please tell me if this is just my YouTube. The comments on YouTube versus TikTok, very, very, very different. Very different. And that's very weird. Number 15, this is about my people, but black people keep blaming their issues on other people when they don't want to work for it themselves. I understand that we have so many setbacks that are out of our control and that is rooted down to racism, but not every single malocurrence that happens to you is because of white people. Let's say you got in trouble and you get locked up. If you did that crime and you deserve to get locked up, that's not a white person's fault. That's your fault for being stupid. We can say that it's the justice system's fault for the amount of time you got in there if it was unfair okay that would be a form of racism i'm just sick and tired of people complaining that the all the mal stuff that happens to them in life is because of white people take accountability the second you take accountability is the second that we can make progress next one getting a tattoo in high school is not the fuck that you think it is like i don't like it i don't care who you are 90 percent of the time it doesn't even look good it's that same generic a quote and stuff like that and i'm just like that's that, that's really not cute if you like it that's cool I, maybe i'm just being a hater it's not the flex that you think it is when you show up and you show your little buddies look what i got i got a bunch of clouds in a quote really and my last point for this video pretty privilege is real and I don't care what you guys think. I think this is becoming more of a popular opinion. Pretty privilege amongst women is very, very real, okay? I don't know where I got this from, but someone once said, what a man needs to be successful is money. What a woman needs to be successful is looks. People's looks is mostly out of their control. You're blessed with your looks. Even plastic surgery cannot put your looks on the same level as natural beauty. I have seen pretty privilege online, in person and I will keep saying it till the day I die. Pretty privilege is real and the day that we start acknowledging that is the day that the world will become a better place. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I plan on making multiple parts to this, but this is just what I have in store for now. I think that that was 20 unpopular opinions. Y'all know the drill. Y'all gotta follow my socials. Y'all gotta subscribe. Y'all gotta turn on post notifications and y'all gotta see Cloudy out. Bye guys.